Well, also tonight, a nonprofit grant could help uncover new clues to a cold case from the 80s. Just before Christmas in 1987, the body of Barbara Blatnick was found near Blossom Music Center. She had been strangled and sexually assaulted. Her family believes her killer could still be caught today and spoke exclusively with Andrew Horansky. Hi, Drew. Good evening to you, Sarah. They have been chosen by a new nonprofit to have DNA testing done on their case. Now, the name of the group is Porchlight, the mission to help solve murders across Northeast Ohio. She loved music. She loved, loved ACDC. Barbara Blatnick defined 80s cool and was a popular student at Erie View Catholic. Her last night alive in late 1987 at a party where friends took her home but never saw her go in. She just turned 17. She was just a kid. Whoever killed her beat her to death. Along O'Neill Road off Seals Corners Road. An oil and gas worker found her the next morning in a wooded area near Blossom, miles from Garfield Heights where Blatnick lived. Someone had raped and killed her, leaving just her class ring, and soon their identity may no longer be secret. With the Blatnick case, um, luckily they have held on to this DNA that was underneath her fingernails uh, that she probably got when fighting her killer. I think our chances are really good. Um, with, with solving this case, I think it'll happen sooner than later. Journalist James Renner serves on the board of a new nonprofit called Porchlight that will pay four to five thousand dollars for private DNA testing. Samples will soon be sent out, and by Christmas, a family could be closer to closure. I always just was kind of thought we were just going to be one of those families that never knew because there was not enough evidence or samples, and it, unless somebody said, "Yeah, I did it." Now, if James Renner looks familiar to you, it is because he has written, blogged, and been interviewed about Amy Mahalovic. I asked him today if that case could also receive this grant, and he said there's simply not enough DNA in that one to run. We have more on the Porchlight Project. Just go to WKYC.com. Sarah? It sounds like a really interesting project, Drew, but why wouldn't investigators just run this DNA on their own? Well, actually, they could, but their hits would only come from people convicted of crimes who shared DNA. What this does is it broadens the scope to non-criminals and could get answers sooner. It also saves investigators time and money, two things we know that they don't always have when it comes to cold cases. And we've seen some of those cases recently solved by broadening that DNA That's approach. Right. All right. Thanks, Drew. Sure.